Hi, this is James from BecauseYouWantedToKnow.com and the video that you're about to watch I had actually filmed and posted a couple of days ago. But since then I kind of found out some things about it so I decided I would make this kind of uh, addendum just to kind of fill you in on it. Uh, if you have a Galaxy Note 2 uh, it should work fine. Um, it, you know, the AT&T version, the T-Mobile version, the international version, uh, this diagnostic menu is in all of them. Uh, there were a couple people that recorded reported that they had custom ROMs and that the custom ROMs uh, did not allow them to access this diagnostic menu. So if you have a custom ROM, that's just, you know, there's really nothing I can do about that. It, but it also should work, I did find out, on the, um, the Samsung Galaxy S2 and the Samsung Galaxy S3. And as far as the Galaxy Note, the original Note, it was about half and half. So... Um, enjoy the video and that's pretty much it. Thank you very much. Hi, this is James from BecauseYouWantedToKnow.com and I was talking to a technician friend of mine today and he kind of showed me a diagnostic screen that Samsung uses uh, when you send your phone in for service in order to see if everything is okay. So it was, it was kind of neat. It's kind of a little secret menu or, that allows you to check all of the features of, of your phone. It's easy to get to. You just go to the dialer you press pound, I'm sorry, star, pound, zero, star, pound, and it takes you to this diagnostic menu. And I don't know if you can kind of see it. Let me lift the phone up here a little bit to kind of give you an idea. So you have all of these buttons here. You'll probably see them better now. You have all of these buttons here that basically allow you to test all of the different functions of your phone real quickly. You know, I can kind of see this being used, like, for instance, if you were maybe going to buy, like, a used phone, or if there was just some part of your phone that you really wanted to know if it was actually working well. So, let's say, for instance, with the sensor. Uh, the sensor gives you kind of a whole litany of tests that they're running. So, you have an accelerometer, a proximity, uh, you know, light sensors and everything else like that. Uh, so, like, like, if I run my hand across it, literally how it vibrates and it changes and everything else like that. I can do graphs, sensors, interpressure, image test, noise and power, and all that kind of good stuff. So it is kind of kind of a neat thing, not hard to get to. You can check your front camera, your back camera, your receiver, your sound, barcode, vibrating, dimming, the touch screen if you want to. And it gives you a neat little thing here. You know, you see if you pass or fail the test, whatever the case may be. So that's pretty much it. If this video was helpful to you, please give me a like. Uh, also, please sub subscribe. I try to make, you know, like, I don't know, two or three videos a week. Um, and some of them might be helpful, helpful to you. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave me a comment. I'll try to get back to you just as soon as possible, usually within a couple of hours or so. And that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching.